introduction, Sheikh Abdul Yusuf. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Uh, first of all, first of all, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, whether you're Christian, whether you're Jew, whether you're a Muslim, most of you here are Muslims. We have a belief in Islam that the Prophet, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith, Inna Allah takafala bisham wa ahlihi. Inna Allah, inna Allah takafala bisham wa ahlihi. <laughs> the people of Syria, as you know, have been living under tyranny for a long time. Many of my teachers were from Syria. Sheikh Hisham al Burhani was one of my teachers in the Emirates who fled. Sheikh Bashir Shukfa, who fled from the tyranny in the 1980s. I remember, and some of you are old enough to remember, Hama and the massacre of the people of Hama, the bloodshed that has gone. All of those people that were taken into prisons, tortured, persecuted, all of these things are in the knowledge of God. All of these things. None of these things will go unpunished. We, this is our belief. There's either justice in this world or there's justice in the next world, but we believe in a just God. Our Lord is just. One of his names is just, Al-Adru. Allah is Al-Adru, and he, walaw ba'dahin, even if it's after a time, his justice will be established. But we also recognize our Lord as Ar-Rahman. He shows his justice to those who have no mercy, and he shows his mercy to those who show mercy. And these are people who have proven themselves beyond the pale of mercy. They have shown no mercy, and so no mercy will be shown to them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reveal himself to these people who have been destroying the homes, the villages, the hearts, and even the children. This is how beyond the pale it's come to where they can torture children. Torture children. People like Hamza al-Khatib, he will have him lay. The people that did what they did to him and all the children of Dara'a and all the children of Daria and all the children of Damascus and Aleppo and Hama, all of these places, they will have their day. Their Lord will not allow those things to have taken place. With the free will that he's given us in this, in this world, he will not leave them without judgment on those who tyrannize them. And we believe this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a just Lord and His justice will be established against those who abuse their power. The, the last thing that I want to say, we have to avoid at all costs the sectarianism that has afflicted so much of our community. The, the Shia, the leadership of the Shia in Lebanon and Iran have revealed themselves to be the political Machiavellian people that they are. They have revealed themselves to side with the tyrants against those who are oppressed. But the Shia people, many of these people have nothing to do with that. So it's important that Muslims not fall in to the trap of lumping all the people together because of the what, of, what some of the people do. We cannot take people to account for what the leaders do. We also have to have a spirit of mercy. Many of the soldiers that are in the Syrian army are under duress. And this is a fact, and you know how Syria works, those of you who are from Syria. Many of these soldiers are under duress. These, they need to be liberated from the tyrants that are forcing them to do what they shouldn't do. There are definitely evil people doing evil things, but some of these people have been chained into the tanks. Chained into the tanks and sent into these villages. They have their families with their guns to their head. If they don't do what they're told, that there will be repercussions. This is the type 
of sickness and tyranny that we're dealing with. So it's important that Muslims, when the victory comes, and it will come, that the Muslims display the mercy of their Prophet ﷺ towards all of these people. This has to be essential. Amir Abdul Qadir al Jazairi, one of the great Mujahideen of the 19th century who fought the French, he fought the French, and the French stole his land, betrayed him in his treaties when he surrendered, arrested him instead of giving him free passage to the Ottoman Empire, which was promised to him. They took him to Lyon. They kept him in prison. When they finally released him, he went to Istanbul and then to Syria. And during his time in Syria, there were riots. The Druze riots, these are well known. They were threatening, they were threatening the Christian minority in Syria. Amir Abdul Qadir al Jazairi went out with his soldiers and he defended the Christians against any attacks. Amongst them were the French delegation, the people that had stole his land, and he gave them safe passage and protected them. The French were so overwhelmed by this, and we have all of this in recorded, but he told the people, if anybody touches these, these Christians, then, then they will taste the wrath of my sword, because this is the sword of the prophet who defends the people that are under his protection, the Ahlul Dhimma. This is Islam, and, and we have to adhere, we have to adhere to these principles, and finally, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, اشْتَدَّ غَضَبِي عَلَى مَنْ ظَلَمَا مَنْ لَمْ يَجِدْ نَاصِرٍ سِوَايَا That my wrath is fierce upon those who have no helpers other than me. And right now, the entire world community has shown that the Syrians have no other help except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the, our, our sole help. اسْتَعِينُ بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ اسْتَعِينُ بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ Take care in prayer and patience. Be people of prayer. Get up in the night and ask Allah. Our Lord is not deaf. Our Lord is present. Our Lord hears the prayers, and he will hear the prayers of those people. So just know that justice will prevail. We believe this. It will prevail. But we have to be people of justice and people of mercy. For those who show no mercy, we give them justice and don't transgress the bounds. Don't allow the hatred of a people to prevent you from being just. Do not transgress the bounds of justice even against the worst people. But for the people of mercy, then we should be people of mercy and forgiveness. Jazakumullah khairan. Pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't forget your Lord. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.